Good evening, Blaine School District students, staff, families, and community. I'm Dr. Granger, your superintendent, and I wanted to take a few minutes to share with you information about our tentative plans for the 2020-2021 school year. First, let me say, as we all know, guidance from our governing bodies is continuing to evolve. As recently as this week, we received new information that caused us to pause and review our plan to make sure it was still viable. Because of the constantly changing circumstances, there's a part of me that worries that we are releasing our plan a little too soon, but ultimately have made the decision to get you the information we have with as much lead time as possible so you can make plans for you and your family. If changes are required, we will release the information to you as quickly as possible. But as of now, we believe that the plan discussed is most likely to be in place at the start of school on Wednesday, August 26, 2020. As we have planned for the necessary changes in education that must take place during this pandemic, the health and safety of our students, staff, families, and community has been at the core of our decision-making process. We have continually reviewed guidance from Governor Jay Inslee's office, the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction, and the Washington State and Whatcom County Departments of Health. In addition, we have engaged in discussions with focus groups representing parents, guardians, staff, and teachers. Each of these groups has provided a valuable insight to us during the process of planning for the 2021 school year, and our administrators, from our executive directors to include our campus principals and assistant principals, would like to express our sincere gratitude to these groups for their commitment to our schools and community. They have been vital in helping us through this planning process. Due to the current guidance of six feet of space between students and teachers while in the classroom, we are limited in the number of students we can bring back to the building at any one time. We have reconstructed our class sizes to 15 or fewer in all grade levels. Our plan involves a hybrid model of instruction where students are in two groups, A or B, and come to the building on alternating weeks throughout the school year for as long as social distancing remains a requirement of schools. We have assigned students into these groups with students in the same household placed in the same group wherever possible. You should be receiving these assignments along with the 2021 tentative AB calendar in the mail in the next few days. If you had indicated in our, in our previous survey that you intended to select online only learning or that your students would not be returning to the school district, you will not receive this notice, but you will have an opportunity in July from the 27th to the 30th to make changes to your choice. More schedule specifics will be coming from your individual campuses early in August. Based on the current information we have and the feedback we've received, this is what we expect the alternating weeks to look like starting in the fall. In-person weeks will consist of classes in the building Monday through Thursday for four hours a day from 8.20 a.m. to 12.20 p.m. with two hours of remote learning in the afternoon the equivalent of a six hour normal school day. Fridays will be remote learning only. For the at-home learning weeks, will also involve a four hour day from 8.20 to 12.20, following a schedule similar to their classmates in the building with two additional hours of remote learning in the afternoon, again equivalent to a six hour normal school day, Monday through Thursday, with remote learning on Friday. So what that looks like in the at-home learning for pre-K through fifth grade students is some check-in times with their teacher as well as pre-recorded lessons and content. For sixth to 12th grade students at home, this will consist of live streaming from their classroom teacher and all teachers will have virtual office hours from 1.50 p.m. to 3 p.m. daily for any students who may need help, whether they were in person or at home that week. In the event that we are to close schools for any reasons, all students will follow the at-home learning schedule. We want to recognize that the four hours of in-class time will be unpopular with some families, and we'd like to take an opportunity to help you understand how we came to that determination as the best option for the collective whole. I have mentioned in a previous message that a clear theme that emerged in the feedback we received from families and staff centered around curriculum, connection, and consistency. 
These things need to exist, not just for students in the classroom that day, but for all students who may also be attending from home. Working within the constraints of a contracted workday, we believe the time for virtual office hours every day is a critical component to the three C's for every student. Without the time for teachers to connect, we don't see a meaningful way to ensure that there's an increased improvement to the delivery of at-home instruction. While planning for a hybrid model based on the space limitations of our buildings, we also acknowledge that some families may not be comfortable sending their children back to the building at this time. For those families, we also want to be offering an online option of learning. We feel the knowledge our staff has of the students, along with our established connections with your child, are key reasons you should allow us to continue to meet your needs of your students while they remain at home participating in an online model in our school district, which also provides them consistency in curriculum, affording them a smoother transition back to traditional in-person schooling when that time comes. We are excited to announce that the district has made an investment in technology and all students will receive a Chromebook to check out for their use during the 2020-21 school year. We are planning on distributing these devices approximately two weeks before the beginning of the school year. We will ask families to provide a pair of headphones for their students to use. Please anticipate and watch for a survey where we will be asking all families to complete the week of July 27th to the 30th, committing to one of the learning options for their children, either hybrid or online learning, as well as what mode of transportation they may use to get to school. Any families who do not respond by July 30th will be defaulted into the hybrid learning model for the 2021 school year and be considered riding school buses to school so we can plan. As we are limited by space, anyone opting for the online learning model will remain in the model until at least January 22nd of 2021, the end of the first semester, except of course, if we are able to completely reopen schools for all students at one time, which remains our goal. In December, online families will have an opportunity to request to move to the hybrid model and applications will be reviewed based on space availability in those buildings. We wanted to share this information on the 2021 school year so families could begin planning. We continue to monitor guidance and if at any point the requirements of schools are to change and we can reopen for all students full time, we are prepared to do that. That remains our goal and our commitment to you. I know our families still have many questions for us. I invite you to join me for a virtual question and answer session on Monday, July 13th at 6 p.m. The link for the Q&A will be posted on our website and social media channels the afternoon of July 13th. Throughout my time in Blaine, I have found the community to be committed to working together for our students. I look forward to continuing to collaborate and providing the best education for our students. It's a great night to be a board right, and it's always a great night to be your superintendent. Thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you soon.